Stowaway is a new film on Prime and Netflix. It is a science fiction film that I knew nothing about. But it's a science fiction movie. I enjoy science fiction movies, so I want to check it out. This movie stars three astronauts who are on a, um, a ship called Hyperion. They're going to Mars. It'll take two years. Um, you've got um, the Doctor, played by uh, Anna Kendrick. The Botanist, played by Daniel Day Kim. And the Commander, played by Tony Collette. She's Australian in this movie for some reason. Anyways, the three of them are, you know prepared to uh, go to this uh, uh, Mars. And I'm guessing that people, space travel is sort of like a normal thing. It, it's, it's so far in the future that going on a spaceship is like, you know, almost like going to on a plane. It's common because we already have a colony on Mars and everything. However, they encounter a hiccup in their plan, a stowaway. They find an unconscious person in the life support system. And he got injured while doing repairs, got stuck inside. And now they have four people in their, their little ship. Um, and um, everything's fine at first, but then about an hour into the movie, we find out the, the dilemma. It becomes a moral dilemma because their life support system is pretty much damaged. And um, they only have enough oxygen for three people. And of course, that's a huge problem because they have an extra person. So they're trying to get help from the, um, from Earth and uh, they're trying to figure things out. And it becomes a sort of moral quandary on, you know, do we push them out of the airlock? You know, do we tell them? It's, um, it's, it becomes more of a drama than a science fiction film. And I did not like this movie. The main reason because, not because of the setup or anything, it's because it's trying to balance between being a like sci-fi film, a thriller, a moral drama, and a lot of the elements just don't work. For one thing, the plot doesn't feel organic at all. It feels like the plot mutates itself every like 10 minutes to screw them over in order to make the story fit. And it feels really awkward because, first off, him getting stowed away doesn't even make sense because like, he was like paneled in there by accident. So like, I don't even know what's going on for that front. But then there's also the whole, oh man, our life support system is damaged. I guess we're going to die. It's like, is this ship so terrible that you don't have backup systems upon backup systems? Like, I don't know like too much about like actual like astronaut stuff and like space station stuff, but like ships and like Space stations have lots of cargo, lots of food for like years uh, because in case something goes wrong, they get stuck. It's like a, a basic safety protocol thing, you know? You make sure you have backups upon backups and your crew is like super smart. They're all like scientists and engineers so they can fix things on the fly. So it doesn't, there are two instances in this movie where through dialogue, they, they establish that this is not like a NASA mission. So this is like a bring plants to Mars mission. So they're trying to, you know, set up that it's kind of like the world of Alien. You know, in Alien, they're miners, you know, they're they're there to make money. They're not there to explore the stars and, you know, and whatever. So they explain twice that, you know, the, the ship's kind of shoddy. They retrofitted it to be less good, uh, you know, less shielding, more to, to be cheap. I don't even know why, but, and then there's also another instance where they mentioned that the ship's usually only meant for two people, but why would you only send two people to Mars? Like, is that not weird? Like if you sent two people to Mars and one of them has a heart attack for no reason, and then you just, oh, the other person just screwed, you know, run the ship by yourself. So that's what I mean. The, the, the plot keeps sort of like screwing them over repeatedly in order to make the situation dire and to keep up the suspense because at any moment if you go, oh, hey, I fixed the um, air support thing, then the movie's over. Uh, so they don't actually show any of the talks they have with um, the ground control. So there's no sense of like, um, what's the word? There's, there's no actual science because it's just like, oh, commander went to the other room, talked to them, they said we're screwed. Oh, okay, we're screwed. And then like, that's it. It's like, okay. So like they have multiple moments where she's talking with someone and we don't see them. There's like an emotional disconnect there. And overall the movie just feels like um, shoddily written because it's trying to be like this um, epic sci-fi journey. But this could take place like on a bus, you know, like a, if three people were sitting on a bus with the driver and then the driver had a heart attack in the middle of the desert and they couldn't get any reception and they're running out of food and water 
and they find out that they have enough water for two people or something, it'd be the same movie. You wouldn't have, the, the sci-fi is just dressing, you know, it's, it doesn't need to be there. So overall, it's a very weak script. I do like the cast. I mean, who doesn't love Anna Kendrick, Daniel Day Kim, and Tony Collette? Um, you know, they're all, they're all great uh, in the movie, but they're very thinly developed. Yeah, the stowaway is the most developed character. Uh, just overall, stowaway just feels like a little shoddy. It needs another rewrite for sure, especially the, the whole ship thing, just screwing them over repeatedly. And it uh, just felt kind of uh, weird. So stowaway, I don't recommend it. I gave it a 2 out of 